All right, guys, welcome back. So in today's podcast, I'm going to be covering how to make uh, money selling private one-on-one soccer training. So this is a very common question that I've gotten from a lot of coaches. Um, there's a lot of coaches who are on Coach Up um, or guys that are trying to make their own website. Um, I've gotten this question a lot, and I wanted to create an in-depth video and podcast to answer some of these questions that I've gotten. Um, and I feel like if you stick around to the end of this video, um, you're going to get a ton of value. And what I want you to do as well is comment below on YouTube or send me an email um, at startyoursocceracademy at gmail.com. That way we can get in contact. I can answer any other questions that you have that might be more in depth. All right. So when I think about selling private soccer training and, and establishing a training program in your city, there's a lot of questions that I've gotten, but in order for me to answer those questions, I actually have to ask you questions um, to see kind of where your program's at, to see what, what you're looking to create. This way I can get your mind thinking about how can you establish the premier brand in your city? So here's a couple of the questions, right, that I would think of, all right? So number one is what makes you stand out? So why would a parent have their kid train with you over your competitor. So I would write down, all right, you know, what are the things that make you as a trainer, as a, for, with your program, why are you different? Why, why is someone gonna be wanting to be in your program um, versus the competitor? And how do you actually stand out over that competitor? And to me, these are things I've been able to identify in my city. And I've been able to identify that because I know exactly what my competitors offer. Um, and a lot of people who start this, who start their business, they don't, they don't examine what their competitors are doing. So they try to either do something that's very generic, um, or they see what their competitors are doing. They try to offer the same thing. And I, I don't believe you should ever offer the same thing anybody else does. I think you should always create something unique that's different, right? So that's my number one question is what makes you stand out? Number two is what's your niche? And that just simply means, you know, who do you want to train? Do you want to train boys? Do you want to train girls? Do you want to train kids who are recreational players? Do you want to train kids who only want to play in college? Uh, do you want to train kids only in high school? Do you want to train kids for between the ages of like, you know, three and six years old, like preschool kids? You know, who do you want to train? And a lot of people out there, they get caught up training too many kids. And I did that. I made that mistake early on. Uh, I remember there'd be days like I would have sessions where I would train kids that are like four to six years old. Um, and then I train kids are, that are older. And then I would end up training some people that were like in their twenties, um, like recreational soccer, like adults. Um, and so the, the age group of the players I was training was way too wide. And I was the guy who was trying to train everybody. And if you want to be known for something, you cannot do that. You have to be very specific with who you want to train. So I would start to identify who it is you want to train. And I feel like an easy way to do that is, yeah, you need to experience training a lot of different types of players at different levels. But once you identify who it is you want to train, that's where you start to dive deeper into that age group and figure out, okay, this is the age group I want to train. This is the location that I'm going to do it. And you really start to hone in on those things. All right. Now, the next thing that I would ask you is, how comfortable are you selling to parents over the phone or in person? And I'll be the first to tell you, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know me that they, at the beginning, the first two or three years, I had so much anxiety talking to parents, um, answering the phone, not knowing how to communicate with them. I didn't know what I was selling. And that was the thing is I didn't know what I was selling. So I was very uncomfortable trying to sell to parents. And that made it really hard for me to close people into my program. All right, so I would I was probably thirty percent out of, you know, I would say every ten people, every ten parents who I talked to, I'd say maybe three, uh, three of those parents would would commit to my program. Now, because I've talked to literally thousands of parents, I can sell anything uh, to parents because now I know what my programs are. All right, I know exactly what makes me stand out. I know what my niche is. So I'm only serving parents who have kids that are within my area of, of who I want to train, right? And that makes it a lot easier. So that's my question there is, you know, how comfortable are you selling? If you're not comfortable, reach out to me uh, because 
that can cost you thousands of dollars a month. If, if you're not comfortable selling, if you can't convert um, leads into clients, then you're gonna have a really hard time, just like how I did at the beginning, and that's something I can easily help you with, right? Uh, the next one here is how many parents do you talk to every week? So do you have metrics? Like, are you trying to figure out, all right, well, how many people am I trying to talk to every week about my program? Like, because if you're not doing that, if you're not keeping that metric, if you're not keeping track of that metric, then you don't really have a way of keeping track of your business. And if you think about it, you have to talk to parents in order to get their kids into your program. So the more parents you talk to, the more confidence you're gonna gain, and the more you can get the word out about what you're doing. And I will tell you, like I said earlier, I was very shy at the beginning. Um, I had a really hard time talking to parents. I had very low confidence talking to them over the phone or in person or at the fields. And so it was very difficult for me to get a lot of traction in my city, right? It took me years of trial and error talking to people and really putting myself out there. So if you're shy talking to parents, you need to overcome that, um, do what I did, and talk to more parents. Start getting outside of your comfort zone, talk to as many people as possible, and start to keep track of that, right? That's why I asked you that. You wanna keep track of your metrics. You know, how many parents are you talking to every day or every week? And I'm a big believer, and I have all the coaches in my, in my soccer academy mastermind I, I want them to be talking to at least three new parents every day, right? That's over 20 new parents a week. Um, that's over 80 uh, new parents every month that you're talking to about what you're doing, about how you can help. That, to me, can, can simply make a lot of money. That can get a lot of kids into your program if you're willing to do that. Um, the next one here is how many parents actually convert into clients. So if you have a, a list of people who we're talking to, like let's start to measure out how many of those people are converting into clients, paying clients, not, not phone calls, not people who are interested, like actual paying clients. This way we can start to figure out, all right, next month I need to talk to this many people because I can look at the percentage of the people who are signing into my program and now I need to know, all right, I need to double the amount of people who I've talked to in order to get more people, all right? And this way you can use those metrics as a very easy way to analyze your business week after week, right? Um, the next question I have here is, um, and I've talked about this in other videos and podcasts, but like, do you have an actual system of getting new players in your program, getting new clients? Like, what are you doing to market yourself? Um, you know, do you have something that you can rely on or are you just trying to hope and, and wish that parents are gonna start calling you. Because I can tell you from my experience, if you're hoping and wishing that parents are gonna call you, you're gonna be out of business within the next 90 days, um, especially if you're trying to do this full-time. Um, if, if you're trying to do this like as a part-time thing um, or full-time thing, you need to be after it. You need to get yourself in front of as many people as possible because right now, if no one knows you, that's not gonna change. And even if you create a cool website, like if you don't understand how to get your website ranked on, on Google, like no one's going to find you. Um, and those are things I help coaches with. Um, so if you need my help with that, reach out to me. Um, the next one here, um, which is also very important, is how many clients are being retained each month. And that just means, you know, are the kids that are joining your program, are they leaving after month one? Like where are they going? Uh, or are they staying? Are they long-term clients? And all of these things that I'm talking about, make selling private training very easy. If you can identify all those things I just listed out, selling private training to me is very easy, all right? It's all gonna start though with the number one thing I said, which is what makes you stand out? When you can identify that, it's very easy to create a brand in your city that is unique, it stands alone, right? No one else will create anything like that um, and that's going to attract parents into your program, which is, to me, the easiest way to build a business, is attracting people rather than begging people, right? And that's the way I have my whole business here at Soccer Entrepreneur set up, is like, I'm not begging anybody, any coach to do anything. Um, if someone likes what we do, they're gonna join one of our programs. Um, I don't even really have to ask. Uh, and that's why, you know, I have the same mindset when I talk to parents. Um, I wanna create something unique uh, for parents in my city, for their kids, and this way, it's a no-brainer for them. When, when the buying decision is, is ready, like they're gonna go 
and take action because I've created something that's going to help their kids. It's very valuable for their kids. And you need to create something very similar in your city if you want to have long-term success. So that's it for the video, guys. I appreciate your time. If you want to learn more about how to take your soccer business to the next level, head over to my website. It's www.soccerentrepreneur.com. From there, there's a big blue button at the top of the page. It says, Call Coach Ben. That's me. Um, you can click on that. I have a free uh, strategy call that'll last 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm just going to see where you're at with your business and how I can help you. So go ahead, take advantage of that, and subscribe to our channel. We have a ton of new content, new videos that are they're going to be popping out on this channel. Um, and that way you can stay up to date with everything that we're doing. All right, I'll see you later.